Yeah, I'm very excited. This has been rated one of the top 20 events in the Southeast by the Southeast Tourism Society. So uh, we have amazing crowds. We have hundreds and hundreds of vendors, food vendors and craft vendors. Um, we have nonprofits out here. We have for profits. We have businesses. We have people that work out of their garage in their at their house. Um, we have retired people. We have people working 60 hour a week and then going and doing this on the weekends. Um, it's just it's such a mishmash of people. And then you bring in 250 to 300,000 people every year, and it's just uh, it's an incredible event. You should I can you doesn't it just smell great? I mean, just the smells are something else. But uh, but yeah, you get uh, you know you have all the, all different kinds of food vendors and craft vendors and everything else. It's just it's amazing. Ah, uh, lots of good food, good donuts, uh, just all kind of good food to eat. Lots of crafts, great pottery, just whatever you. Something for everybody. This is a, a community of less than 11,000 people. And we're able to bring in this kind of crowd into this small of a community. It's because of the effort that's put into it between our tourism and our government and, of course, the Chamber of Commerce um, and our chairperson, jo Jordan uh, Edwards. It tells the people all around us that, look, anybody can do it. We've been doing it for, for since 1966. We stretched it out a little bit, added a little bit more space in between booths. We went down si uh, one of the roads here, Independence. We went down there, uh, opened that up a little bit further. And, and we were, so we were able to do that and still add more booths. We still got a tremendous waiting list of people that want to get in here, especially food people. But we were able to bring in some people that had never been able to get in here before. And, um, and make it safer and a lot easier to get through. Um, I mean, the Autumn Leaves Festival is definitely a tradition. If you're from anywhere close, you know, it's something that you look forward to every year. And now that they've added the Kids Fest, I love this. It's great for the visitors, but I think it's also a wonderful event for locals as well, because you're not going to get down the street without running into a hundred people that you know. Originally, even though it says Autumn Leaves Festival, it was originally set up to celebrate the end of the harvest season. Now we're celebrating uh, just coming together, unity. Uh, this is one of the few, and I've traveled a lot, this is probably when it comes to people coming together and, and being pleasant with each other and, and camaraderie and family and that, this is by far uh, Mayberry USA or, or Mount Area, however you want to call it, by far it's been the most unified community that I've ever seen. So this is 250,000 of your closest friends getting together, have something to eat, um, and the Chamber's happy to, to help put that together. This festival has a huge economic impact on our area. Um, with it being the largest festival in the area and in the county, um, not only are people spending money downtown, but these people are traveling to get here. They're buying gas in our towns. They're buying food, not just, do not just downtown during the festival, but they're also buying food at their local restaurants. They're staying in our hotels, our bed and breakfast. Um, so there's a lot of it brings a lot of money into our town and into the county. You know, we got a lot more things planned. Um, we have uh, uh, different food festivals and, and that that we're working on putting together for uh, next year, probably in the in the spring. Um, so we're just getting going here. But something like this helps the chamber keep going. It adds uh, ten million dollars uh, was the last estimate that we saw into our local community to help all of our businesses and our communities and, and help the uh, local government do the things that they do here in town for us. So we're super excited the way things are going and we, uh, we expect that it's just going to get better and better every year.